Hey guys, I'm Robin from GrillGirl.com. Back in 2010, I started hosting women's grilling clinics because I found that a lot of my friends and other females in the community were intimidated by grilling. And who says that the guys get to have all the fun? So now I'm hosting a series of videos to teach you how to grill no matter where you live. So I hope you enjoy them and stay tuned for more. Safety is a really big deal when you're grilling, and some of these things may seem like common sense, but you know, if you're having fun and maybe you've been drinking, they may not seem like common sense at the time. So the first thing to think about is you never want to grill inside. That would be a bad thing. You also want to make sure your grill is not too close to your house. So obviously, you don't want to set your house on fire or even, you know, get your siding to melt. The other thing is to think about keeping your kids and your pets away from the grill. You have a large appliance that's gonna be heating up, so just keep everybody away. Another thing to think about is if you're going to start using a gas grill every season, check it to make sure it doesn't have any leaks. So take a soapy water mixture and you can just essentially spray that on the nozzle and the uh, line and if you see any bubbles, that's no bueno, and that means that you want to exchange your propane tank and also take your grill in to be serviced because gas leaks are not a good thing. I also recommend getting a bottle of fire extinguisher at your local hardware store. It's like 15 bucks. Just keep it around just in case. You'll probably never have to use it, but better safe than sorry. And last but not least, if you are using charcoal, don't dispose of those hot ashes until they're fully cooled down. Because obviously you don't want to start any fires and you don't want to burn yourself. So now that we've covered the basics, you can get out there and start grilling without having to worry. So see you on the next video.